Uh, my name is Dale Fowler, and I'm the chef at the Rogue Regency Inn in Medford, Oregon. And um, we have a new fresh sheet this month. It's December. And uh, December, things are getting into a little bit more of a winter holiday season. So what we're going to do is one of the fresh catches that we have this month, and it's going to be the lobster tail. It's North Atlantic lobster tail. It averages around about five to six ounces. What we're going to do is, is we're going to bake it in the oven, and then we're going to serve it with our roasted fennel, leek, and shallot risotto. So what I did was, is I just put a little skewer in there so that it kind of keeps it from uh, uh, curling up a little bit. So I just want to just put a cube of butter in here, like this, in a pan. And then um, I'm just going to lightly season it with a little salt and pepper here, okay? Basically, like this. So we're going to take this and we're just going to just lay this in our pan here with our butter like this, all right? So I'm going to put it in a hot oven at about 425 degrees. Right. Now, risotto, making it from scratch, it usually takes about a good 30 to 40 minutes. So I did it ahead of time. And then what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to heat this back up and get it back to consistency is what we're going to do. So I'm going to add all these um, roasted shallot, fennel, and leek mixture together that I did because I think roasting it intensifies the flavors of this. And so um, what I'm going to do also is just add a little bit of olive oil here. So I'm going to get this pan heating up like this, okay? I'm going to add a little bit of white wine to that, like this, okay? And then here, what we have is the risotto that we made up. So I'm going to add a little bit of um, this lobster stock to it. So as you can see, it's kind of getting this um, little bit of a oatmeal or cream of wheat kind of uh, um, consistency to that, okay? And so when this gets up to a simmer, then you might want to add a little bit more stock to it like this because it does absorb. See how it's nice and creamy and smooth. I'm going to add a couple cubes of butter to this, okay? So now we're talking about a little bit more of a richness dish here. So we're going to take our, our risotto here and it's going to lay out here in this bowl like this. So at this point now what we want to do is we want to check our lobster. You don't want to overcook the lobster. It doesn't take long in a really super hot oven here. Okay. Now what we want to do is we want to take our lobster and we're going to cut it in three slices here. One, two, three. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fan out our lobster tail here on our risotto like this. So what I did also is I fried some fennel and um, some leeks here. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to just kind of sprinkle a little bit of this around the plate like this. What I also have is I have some chervil here. Chervil is um, basically a, like a an herb from the uh, parsley family here, but it has a nice, light, delicate flavor to it. It doesn't really taste like parsley. It's kind of a cross between, I think, a, a, like dill and uh, parsley. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to put some of these little sprigs here, like so. Okay, so here we have it, one of our fresh catches. It's baked lobster tail on a leek. Parmesan risotto, and we took the leeks and the fennel and roasted that, and that's with the risotto. 